Hey guys, it's uh, Kel Kay Jones here. My name is Kelsey and I'm going to be doing a guide on basically how to get snake grass very efficiently on RuneScape. So this is my method. Um, I'm currently 86 herbler and I do have higher stats, but what you're going to have to have done is the Lunar Diplomacy quest. It's not that bad of a quest. It's actually one of my favorites, although it is long. Um, I actually really enjoy the quest. So the um, you're going to need 72 magic. That's a very high requirement, but trust me, this is the fastest way to get snape grass. So 72 magic, and basically you're going to want a teleport to Waterbirth Island, which requires also the Lunar Diplomacy quest to be done. So the next thing you want to do is go ahead and get out um, basically anything that includes earth runes, air runes, and law runes. It depends on how you want to do that, but basically I use a dust battle staff that I got from a drop because it covers earth and air, and then I have law runes. You can also do basically use a rune pouch and put your earth, laws, and air in your rune pouch so it only takes one inventory space. The next thing I really recommend is having Full Graceful on. Finally, what you can also do is, this is how I do it, um, I use a Ring of Dueling and I wield it. So now that we have that set up, basically the next thing you're going to want to do is set up the portals in your house where it's very convenient. So you're, we're going to be teleporting to Waterbirth Island for Snape Grass, and so basically I have my portals all really near the center or where my um, house teleport is, where you enter. So I go up the stairs and my Waterbirth teleport is right here. So you basically are going to want to build a Waterbirth Island portal, and the Waterbirth Island um, portal for your house, 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 oh my gosh, house requires 100 of each, 100 of each ruin of the casting, so like for example, when we go to Lunar Spells and we scroll down to, you know, Waterbirth Island, um, whatever runes that are needed for that teleport, I'm assuming Astrals is one of them. So for each teleport, it takes, let's say, two Astrals, some amount of water runes, and etc. So for two Astrals, you're going to have to bring 200. If it's one water rune, you bring 100. And basically, you need to build the planks first and then, you know, build it in your house. So next thing is this rotation is going to happen where you use the house teleport and there's snake grass right here which is extremely convenient and what I do is I simply just get a very full inventory of snake grass I'm not going to get a full inventory for the sake of the video but basically once I have a full inventory I simply go to my ring of dueling and I go to castle wars Okay, so here we go. We go Castle Wars, and there's a bank right here, which is extremely convenient. Bada bing, bada boom, you just put the snake grass in here, and then you rinse and repeat back to your house. And if your portal's near your main entrance, like I do with my portals, I climb up the stairs and I go to water birth. And I rinse and repeat, and honestly, a lot of people are concerned about um, the Ring of Dueling and using up their Ring of Duelings by doing this. You have eight teleports per Ring of Dueling, and I can guarantee you that you will only go through so many Ring of Duelings because you're only going to have so much Renar weeds, and you're not going to use that many Ring of Dueling, especially since it has eight castings for each ring. Um, for, so if we do the math here for eight castings for each ring and we have 27 slots if you only have one for law runes you will get for every dueling ring you'll get 216 snake grass which is super nice okay so I just wanted to show you all my method because some of my clan members were like snake grass is awful to get for secondaries for herbal I'm like actually snake grass is my favorite it's fairly quick and chill so I wanted to do this video. Thanks so much for watching, guys. And if you're interested in watching my future videos, please feel welcome to subscribe. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and if it helped you out. So thanks for watching, guys.